Time ago, this is Jess with your July 7th, 2021 weekly general read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Virgo, uh, these messages may not resonate with you all. Um, so don't take what applies, uh, cause I have to get some messages out of the way that seems very challenging at this time. So there's that heads up for some of you. You have to be very careful with contracts that you're entering into. Okay. Um, some of you, I see lawsuits. I see big lawsuits. I see people fighting with you. And that seems to be all consuming right now for some of you that can relate to this. You have people investigating you. I don't know what this is about, but you're being investigated. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a Virgo, a well-known Virgo, that some type of big story comes out about a Virgo um, at some point, because probably by Libra season, there may be this big scandal about a Virgo or someone with strong Virgo placements regarding some type of a case. But in relation to this general read, I would be very careful. You do have people investigating you, watching you. Uh, for some of you, there has been some type of fallout, discord, argument. And this can show up in any area of your life where you may have to report someone. You may have, st have to start some form of proceedings. Um, so things may have gone left. Um, and this could just be people I'm picking up with now and if this doesn't resonate with you virgos go check out another area of your placement if you would like to see what may resonate for you i see home life being a little bit challenged please be careful with your finances right now definitely you want to save you definitely want to be cautious with the money that you're spending especially if you just moved doesn't matter if you moved or not but i particularly I feel, I feel like for some of you that have moved you may be house poor you may have to really cut back um and try to recoup from buying this house. Some of you, you may find some things out. It could be about a house. It could be about anything. I'm not going to go down the line of what it could be, but it could really be about anything that you have to fight um, to make something right or someone could be coming after you. So things seem to be not falling apart, but some things are kind of starting to come your way. You may be completely confused by this. Some of you are not sure how this is all going to play out. I do feel like it's going to be a process and you would want it to be because the longer whatever this is can drag out, um, the more it'll be in your favor. So you don't want something to come in, whatever this uh, decision or this um, decision is, or whatever these proceedings are, you want it to go slow because through it taking it its time, you find some major details that is going to work in your favor. Remember I said that. Um, and these can be things that spills over to your um, everyday work life. So for some of you employed, you may be very confused about where you stand in a workplace, there may be some issues that you have to tackle. I see some of you going back to the drawing board, almost feeling like you have to start over in, in some respects when it comes to work life. Okay. And again, it's very vague. I know Virgo, it's not giving you any specific details, but hopefully um, it makes sense for those of you that can relate. If you are unemployed, and I'm kind of going, um, pulling the cards as I go this time around, um, just for uploading purposes, guys. But if you are unemployed, I feel like you're, you've are you kind of been in hermit mode for quite some time. Probably very specific on the timing which you're going to strike. And it looks like the timing is now. You're going to get out there. And because it's a great opportunity to do so. Now, you could either get a job that has great income or one that doesn't have the best income. So it really is about timing and what you're willing to do. For some of you, again, it's going to be a process. Um, your life right now is slowing down. And that is to kind of match your energy with the outside world, right? Or or um, pick up the pace because you've been waiting for quite some time. So it's like once you get out there, don't jump at the first thing, which I don't know if we're going to do that, but you will find better opportunities as you're taking your time. And even if you find one job doesn't pay that much, keep looking. You're going to find something better. If you're self-employed, things are problematic. Yeah, this I could be speaking to some of you Virgos when I started the reading where well, you may have taken a loss. Um, and this is bittersweet. It's not even sweet. I'm sorry. It's very bitter because there may be more of an emotional connection that you have with someone and you do business together too. So kind of having to let that go or lose it has been very hurtful and painful for you. For some of you, it may have something to do with a Sagittarius or a Leo or Aries. I don't know why I said Sagittarius first, but it may have something to do with a fire sign or someone was not very 
ethically sound here. I'm not saying fire signs are not, but I'm just saying that that's the, the sign I see. It could be under any sign. Um, but there's something around finding out that someone was not being ethically sound, right? And because for some of you, it could be a love relationship going sour and now the business is also falling apart. That's what I see. Uh, so you're having to kind of right now deal with your emotional side. You Virgos that are self-employed, you're dealing with an emotional loss. And that may be the reason why you're not focusing so much on your business at this time. A lot of focus on a fight, a fallout, your person, and some of you may feel like someone's being very vindictive and nasty and hurtful. You still love that person. You still have deep feelings for them and you care a lot about them. But again, it's kind of getting a little bit messy here. And I would say for some of you, it may be because someone had to put their foot down about being supportive, about accepting just about anything is what it looks like to me. So hopefully that makes sense. If you'd like to share and give some clarification on what this means for you, I would love to hear it down in the comment section below. Let's keep going. Let's look more at your um, love life. Those of you Virgo single ladies, what's coming up for you, Virgo single ladies? Well, I have to tell you, ladies, keep your business to yourself. You do not have much friends right now. And people could be very catty, very um, nosy. And rumor mills can get out of control right now when you least expect it. You're not even, some of you are not even aware that you're being talked about behind your back. You sense it, but you don't know to the degree that you are. That's like a sidebar for some of you. When we're getting back in love, you have, you've been through the ringer. Yes, ladies, you've dealt with infidelity and, and people who aren't the most ethically sound. And I feel like what's, what it has made you do is quietly go into your shell and really focus on work. It's been a burden. To disconnect from whoever this person has been from the past. Yeah, they've been very emotionally manipulated. I get a water energy person, but it doesn't have to be. It's just someone who has been very crafty with your heart. And now you're kind of still carrying around that baggage, but secretly, quietly, you think people don't know. But people do, um, people do realize that your heart isn't as open. I see a great opportunity for love to come into your life. I do feel like you're going to take it slow. You need to weed out any uh, negativity that may crop up. I do see some of you taking a trip. And that way, that may be why you're so focused on career or you've been working so hard because you're saving to take a trip to relocate to make some type of major change in your life. Um, and for some of you, it is to disconnect from that old love that you once had. But for some of you, it's wherever you're going. Um, it, you could be meeting someone new. Love is going to be coming into your life, Virgo. Um, so for some of you that I'm speaking to, the single ones out there, you may be in a very committed and happy relationship around this time next year is what it looks like to me. But for now, um, I do see you kind of trying to work through the past and focusing on what's going to make Virgo single ladies happy. Virgo single men is coming up for you. You're saying about your child. That's what you want. You want to see your child, some of you children. Others of you are focusing more on your finances and career than you are a relationship at this time. If you do have time to give to someone, it will be very short. It's kind of like an in and out action. That could be misconstrued as you not being interested. Uh, are you interested in anyone? Yeah, you're kind of seeing where things can go with a particular person who has been at a distance but may not, may not be for very long. You like hanging out with this person. It's pretty friendly at this time. Um, but at the same time, they may not be your type. <laughs> they may not be your type 100%. You don't know why. They're, you know how it's like you, someone really likes you. It, it's going really well. You have no reason not to like them, but something about something about it that you have not connected to. I feel like that's what's going on with some of you Virgo men. You just haven't completely connected with a particular new individual, even though things are going really well. Um, and again, I feel like for, to some extent, it could be that she's not your type. I do feel like you want your past back leaps and bounds. You want the past back. Now for some of you <clears throat> men, excuse me, Virgo single men, you want a past person back. Some of you really miss your kids. I do see that. She's big thing about kids or a past family dynamic that you had kids and, and the parent. So you miss that. Others of you, I feel that there's a particular person that you really do have a strong connection with from your past that you may be getting back together with. You could be getting back together with someone from your past men, but there's even a brighter future with a new person. This person is literally like a wish come true. It's what you probably have hoped for and wanted deep down inside. Um, and once you stop waiting on it and kind of gave up, the woman just like appeared in your life. 
Like when you had no more faith and was like, oh, it doesn't matter. I don't even care anymore. She just came in. Now, again, may not be your type. You may not even see this coming. You may think that, oh, she's just a friend. But this person, given time, opportunity, time, that's the operative word for you, Virgos out there, is time. You're giving a situation time. Things are going to work in your favor, leaps and bounds, better than what you could ever expect, especially right now with you stressing out about issues going on in your life. You can stumble upon a lot of unrequited relationships that are karmic for you, Virgo. So there's lessons there. You're having a very karmic time. I would be very careful. This is a side note away from love. Be very careful with signing any contracts right now. Um, it's a process. I know some of you want to pull the trigger and jump the gun because time may be of the essence. Uh, just prepare. If that's the case, be very careful with saving some money on the side because you may need to go back and fight um, fight in some kind of way to get what you deserve. So just keep that in mind. Let's go into you Virgo couples. Let's see what's going on with the two of you. <sighs> okay, well, there's a final decision that's being made here or a resurgence in this love between you and your person. You do love them. That's very clear. There could be a starting new to some extent. For some of you, congratulations. You just bought a home, as I mentioned. Um, you're expanding family, um, and life seems to be really moving quite nicely. And you like the trajectory that you and your partner is on and you're moving forward steady, but slow, but steady. You have a hot head for a partner. You have a hot head for a partner who doesn't have much cools, who could be very challenging and problematic um, at times. Um, they also can bring this out of you. Someone who has had a lot of secrets, who hasn't had the most ethical past, and someone who may be coming back, not being the most ethically sound. This may be someone that you feel like you haven't been able to trust, but because family or whatever, you know, whatever the thing is, which it looks to be family, that may be keeping the two of you together in spite of someone's cheating, lying, and having other people as options is what it looks like to me. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about Virgo? Well, it seems like the two of you really repaired this relationship. There's love here on their part. They feel like they're investing in this. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing, Virgo. This person sees this real plain. I'm going to be very specific. They feel like, yeah, you know, you're the chosen one. I do love you. We're working this thing out. Things are going really nicely and everything is back on track as it needs to be. I love you. I'm invested in you. I'm loyal to you and I'm devoted to you. The problem is a particular other person. It could be several, but it can maybe one in particular that may be very challenging to this union, but they feel like you are their ultimate person. You're their everything. So while there may be others or another one, you are the one. Okay, you're not the one and only, but you are the one. <laughs> There's that. Okay. The biggest challenge in this relationship is someone like wants their cake and eat it too. There has been a lot of talks that may have led to arguments and fussing and fighting about the ideal way to handle this relationship with someone needs in order for it to grow, what you both need in order for it to grow. Now, your person, but it could be you, has had a hard time with being consistently monogamous, consistent, consistent. It could be with money. It could be with a lot of things. And again, this I said at the beginning of this video, if it doesn't resonate, do not let let it stick because this is a very specific reading. But for some of you, there has been a problem. And that is what has kept the relationship. Mm, that That is what has kept one of you from being ultimately happy in this relationship because they just want their person to be monogamous. You love me. I should be enough for you. But unfortunately, for some of you, you are not enough for your person. And it looks like it's either getting worse or it's all starting to come out, or I'm just starting to tap into a different group of Virgos where your life is not so peachy in your love life and problems are starting to kind of erode the relationship. So that's what I have. If you want to look deeper into this love relationship and get far deeper than where we've gone just now, click the link in the description box below. You can find all the details there. If you want to see how this is kind of going to pan out, throughout the rest of the year, you can click the 2021 Virgo yearly reading, and you can also find my website down below as well. Otherwise, if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Virgo.